I would like to show everyone a good example of working with layers in both Photoshop and in Flexi. And this, I hope, will help you see the difference in these two programs and how you can actually use them um, in some special ways as well if you want to protect those layers. So uh, I went online and I found this particular calendar that I thought looked pretty cool. And uh, if you scroll down, on this page, you actually can see uh, they're give, they, they'll actually allow you to download each of the parts of the image or the image completely. So if you just needed the PNG file with a transparent background, piece of cake. But if you want all the parts of the image, they actually provide the PSD file, which is the Photoshop file. And again, this has all the parts in here. These are the parts that they used and created different formats to put together to create this particular uh, piece of art. So it looks like this right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the PSD file. That's the Photoshop file, okay? So I've done that already. And so let's, uh, let's take a look in Photoshop and see what it looks like. All right, so I've opened that PSD file in here, and you can see it's a fairly large document. And on the right-hand side over here, I have my layer manager open. And in, in Photoshop uh, and, and in some of the other Adobe products and so forth, each of these pieces have been put together in a layer in order to uh, order them from front to back. So that's one thing that layering is gonna do in Photoshop. And then they also maybe add some effects on some of these layers. So for instance, in this particular layer, let's see what that is. That's the actual lettering down there on the bottom, right? So one of the effects that they have in here is a, a stroke apparently around that particular uh, layer. They're doing that, so th that's fine. So what you can do, obviously, if you're a Photoshop user is you can turn on and off parts, right? So if I go in here and I just turn off and on these parts, it's, you know, you can actually turn them on and off and you can manage those. That's kind of how the Adobe mindset uses to, to create this artwork. Okay, so say now I wanna take this into my Flexi product and I wanna actually uh, work with it. And I want, I want these layers, but I wanna be able to work with them, maybe do some other things to them, whatever, okay? I have some choices. I can actually go to my uh, file here and I can click Save As, and it will give me some options to save this graphic in a number of different formats, right? So the first format, obviously, is the Photoshop format. And you notice it says, you know, I've got what I have turned on. If I don't turn on one of these layers, it doesn't mean it doesn't import it, but it's not gonna show. So it, it layers is checked, so I'm saving this with layers. I'm embedding this profile in here and I'm saving it as a PSD file. So I did one like that. And then what I did was I went through each of these formats to see if there was a format that Flexi could read, and I know it doesn't read this PSB file, that had included the layers, right? So as I go through here, you'll see these layers are not included, which means it flattens the file, right? So for instance, if I save it as a JPEG file, you're, you're not gonna import these layers it's just gonna be a flat file. And then it does whatever, Photoshop does whatever it needs with its export filters to create this uh, you know, image, right? And sometimes that's all we need. So uh, many of us just use JPEG files, that's no problem. Uh, again, PNG file, you know, maybe wanna preserve the, the, the transparency in this. So that's what many use a PNG file. So I'm also gonna save this in two other formats, okay? I'm gonna save it, um, let's see, where am I? I'm going to save this as a PDF file because that also includes layers. And I've already done that. And then I'm also going to save it as this TIFF format. You may not realize, but TIFFs can have transparencies and you can actually save it with layers. So I've done that as well, okay? So at this point, since I've saved those uh, particular formats, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on over to the Flexi product and let's open those three file formats and let's take a look at how Flexi treats it. 
Now what I've done in Flexi is I've actually gone here and I've turned on the design editor. That's the layer manager for Flexi. And it also has object manager, so it would handle like each individual part. So the objects tab is really more like uh, layers in in um, in your 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 your, uh, your Photoshop. Okay, so the layers here is just uh, where those items are placed, and then this tab actually shows you. So like for instance, on layer one right now, which is open, that's the layer I'm in, right? There's nothing in here yet. It's just a blank page. All right, so I'm gonna leave that up. So the first thing I'm gonna do on layer one, okay, I'm just gonna go to my file menu and I'm gonna to go to import. I'm gonna to go to my files over here and we're just gonna open the uh, PSD file, okay? So let's import that. I'm gonna import. So you can open the PSD. There's the PSD file right there, okay? And let's go on over to our layer manager here and let's just rename our layer, okay? Let's name this layer uh, PSD format, okay? So we know what we're working with there. No problem, right? Now you notice when I double click on that name, that's how I renamed it. And you can actually turn on and off uh, what you want to be able to do with this particular piece. That's another interesting thing, right? By the way, this red here, that's the select and outline there. All right, so that's one that we've imported. Okay, let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go over here to make sure you're on that layer. All right, we'll go to that layer. I'm going to go to my objects and you'll notice I, I don't see a lot of things here. All I see is this is a, it imported it, but it imported it as a transparent uh, bitmap. And, and what is that, okay? Well, if I click on my image here and I go to my Design Central and I go to my third tab here, it says it's, it's pretty good resolution, 300 uh, pixels per inch. It's a pretty large file, 11 by 16, so it probably print very well. It just simply has a transparent uh, image here. And what does that mean? That simply means if I were to draw something, say like something like this and move it over here, right behind those leaves and I go right click and I move that to the back it's transparent in there see so in other words the 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 image is actually transparent see how you can see it underneath all those items so this white area here is actually transparent that's all that means and notice over here in my objects tab see the rectangles underneath that's that's basically what order does all right all right so let's get rid of that all right what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna actually come in and say, I wanna create a new layer. So now I have another layer I'm gonna work on. I'm no longer on this layer right here. And let's go in here and we're going to import. And this time we're actually gonna pick the tiger that was the uh, TIFF file, okay, with all the layers turned on. So here you can see a preview, I'm gonna import it and I'll put it right next to this image. Now it says open as a single layer. If I say yes, it flattens everything. So I'm gonna say no to this. Why am I doing that? Well, you'll see in just a second. Now, this actually has all of the layers that it had back in Photoshop. So for instance, if I go back to my Photoshop, even though I had this layer turned off, right? Or let's say this one here, that's more obvious. Right? Even though I have that don't look at it here, what the transparent TIFF file did was I imported all of the layers. That's what that message was in Flexi. So it imported everything and turned them all on. So if I go back to my Flexi now, they're all turned on. Okay, so what do I need to do here? I have a couple of choices. First of all, let's take a look at this layer here. Let's rename our layer TIFF format, right? So we know what it what it is, right? Okay, and I'm gonna go to my objects, and you can see here's here's my object that was on layer, that layer. This is now my TIFF format, and look, there's a little plus here, and these are all objects. These actually correspond to the layers over here. All of these layers in here correspond, right? 
to the objects tab and here is all of this now it didn't keep the name that's typical of a lot of programs right so let's let's do this I'm not going to select anything and I'm going to click on this this bottom one around here right so if I were to move that you'll see that's one of the layers right that was the tiger layer in there so I want to keep that see what I'm doing here and I'm going to start going up here here's the next layer see this layer right here what is that that's the background I want to keep that so I'm going to undo that see what I'm doing and I'm just clicking on these layers until I see something that might not be that I, what I want this is the 2022 layer now I again I could I could double click on that if I wanted to that little image right there just double click on it and rename it right we can rename the layer if you want to okay so, I mean that object so it's that's all possible to do as well all right I'm gonna go to the next one up this is another transparent bitmap which makes sense right what is that one let's pull that down that seems to be some sort of background or something like that so let's leave that alone all right let's go up one more go into this one now let's pull that down and see what that is let's zoom in a little bit I'm gonna zoom in like this because I'm gonna show you that particular layer looks right that looks like what I'm trying to the, the flattened layer over here so I'm gonna keep that one right there okay so let's undo that and I'll just go up here closer down so let's see I went to what to 298 this time okay let's pull that down okay that's another language thing I don't need that so go ahead and press delete and delete it all right let's go up here to 301 now this is just a fancier lettering or whatever if I want to I could keep that and not do the other one I, I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that so again you can go in here and start looking you can see there's plenty of different calendar options basically is what this is this guy's giving you here this is another language okay I don't want that one yeah, I'm gonna look at this guy you see what I'm doing here I know I know this is a little bit of a chore but it's definitely a way to start looking at things and now I notice that these are starting to look the same now aren't they so what's this layer right here I don't that's probably let's let's magnify everything okay that's the big border I want to keep that and this layer right here is probably some kind of that's the message in here I don't want that right so let's get rid of that and now if you'll notice these two images these two images actually are identical with the exception that the first one which was the PSD format right that first one only had the transparent bitmap and there's really nothing I can do with the individual parts of that the TIFF format had all of the parts that put together make this image over here and you can still manipulate those you could in fact uh, move them into other layers and match the layering system that you had back in in Photoshop that's another thing you could do okay so let's go one step further let's just move that over let's go over here in the file menu and we're going to import and what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take that PDF file that we made remember that was a PDF file there there it is right there let's import that one all right let's see if we get any messages from Flexi there's no messages right so I'm going to click on this and that looks identical to the previous ones now this this particular one I, I accidentally put it on this this PSD layer here right and it was this bitmap right here so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to go in here and create a new layer again and I'm just going to call this PDF Whoop. <laughs> looks like I made too many layers there it's no problem we can just trash that one no problem just take that off there you know and just say I don't want it so I'll get rid of it or we can leave it. it doesn't really matter oh here it is right here I'll trash that there we go so here's my layer one so I'm going to rename that PDF format okay there's my PDF format and I'm going to take this one that was my PDF format this time and I'm just going to move it and all you got to do is just click on it 
and just move it over to the other layer if you want. So I have these on three separate layers now. I have three different projects. They look identical. They act identical. Um, you know, they're all transparent backgrounds. I'll, I'll prove it. All right, I'm gonna draw a big old rectangle here, okay? Nice, great big rectangle, there we go. I'm gonna click on the rectangle and say, move that to the back. And I'm gonna pull it down over the images here and you'll see what's it doing. It's behind that one, it's behind that one. Why? Because it's here in my layering system. Why isn't it behind this one? Because it would have to go all the way to the bottom here. So you would have to drag this and say, I wanna move that down here. See, this is, this is the advantage. This is how you use this objects tab here. All right, so now it's, it's identical. All three of those images are exactly the same, right? They're exactly the same. I'm gonna get rid of my rectangle. Oops, let's get, that's all right. Let me just click on it. There we go, delete it, all right. Now I'm gonna to go to my layer manager here. And this is where now I can actually turn off, like I wanna turn off my PSD version, I wanna turn off my PDF version, and I just wanna use my TIFF version. They're, they're identical, but the reason I wanted to use my TIFF format was maybe because I wanna come in here and do something with these, like reorder them, or you know, uh, maybe I wanna to add to this, this particular layer, you know, maybe I wanna add some text in there right or something like that so I make sure that I'm on that that layer and if I were to come in here and uh, click on the screen and type in some lettering all right and let's change the uh, uh, just make it a little thicker maybe okay oops gotta select it make that a little bit thicker that's all cool all right Let's move this little dude over. We're just going to put it over on our bitmap here, right? I'm make it a little bit bigger like this. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say send that to the back. Am I get am I am I helping you here? I hope I am. You know, this is pretty cool. Right? Uh, I've clicked off on that and if I'm having trouble selecting the word muto, see how it's selecting everything else? I go to my objects tab. I come in here and I say, oh, that, that's the one I want right there. Because maybe I want to change the color of that. Isn't that not cool? So, you know, if you're going to work with images coming from Photoshop and you want to kind of maintain that layering system, or for that matter, from any program that does layering, what I suggest is saving it as a TIFF file and make sure that they have that uh, check mark for the uh, layers turned on, right? So in other words, if I'm gonna save this as a format to use in my Flexi, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, save as, and I'm gonna look at my options that I have here, right? And the one that I know works really well is this TIFF format. And just make sure that layers is ticked and it will import every single layer you have over here. In, in the order of those layers. It won't name them the correctly. You know, with these are some improvements that I hope uh, the, uh, the boys over and girls over at uh, SAI will, will look. I'm gonna send them this video so they can see it too. But this is how the layers work and this is why you can still use that system right inside Flexi as long as you understand Design Editor and you understand what layering and objects are all about. This is Mark Rugen with Muto. I have tons of videos just like this one at muto.thinkific.com. I would love for you to go there right now and investigate. I've got an entire learning uh, system just for uh, Flexi. So that uh, website again, I'll type it out for you. It is HTTP, no www, just Muto dot think ific dot com how about going over there right now and watching some of the other stuff I've got I know you're gonna enjoy it thank you for your attention and time today